Hello. Hello, 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 everyone. I got glitter everywhere. Um, I'm just coming on here real, real quick, once again, uh, real quick, because we're talking about tonight um, the best advice I ever got about test taking. And that best advice I ever got was when in doubt, always choose C. That's the key. You know, that's the key to taking, you know, uh, multiple choice tests. That's what I was taught when I was young and in, uh, in grade school. They taught us that. Um, what does that have to do with what's going on right now? Um, I would have to say that it has a lot to do with what we have going on right now. Because right now, you know, just like before, we find ourselves in seasons, you know. And in this season, you may be going through something that you feel like you've gone through before. You know, I've, I've seen this before. I've done this before. Why am I here again? Or maybe even why is this happening to me? What did I do to possibly have to go through this again? And right now you're probably hurting, confused, uh, scared. You don't understand what's going on. But the key is to always choose C. When we look at Proverbs um, 3, Verses five and six, it says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thine own understanding in all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Sounds simple. It is simple. It's just that simple. You know, when we choose C, let me tell you something. Standardized testing was something that we had to do all through school. Even in college, there was standardized testing. So in grade school, junior high, high school, whatever you find yourself, there's standardized testing. Standardized testing is a test that is taken. Everybody takes the same exact test. Depending on what level you're on or what grade you're in, you're going to take the exact same test. It's across the board, all throughout the whole country. Everybody's taking the exact same test as you are. Okay, there are different versions, meaning they flip flip um, the different questions around and things of that nature. But it's the same exact test and it's graded exactly the same. Okay, so everybody has standardized testing and it's multiple choice. Uh, usually there are four, four answers, right? They give you for one question and usually two of them are just way off. So you can automatically throw those out. And then there are two that are like really, really close. So you got to really, really think about those. So it might get you stuck. But the thing about standardized testing, they're timed. Each section has a different time period. Each section is timed based off of how hard they think it should be based off of the level that you're on. So when we look at our situations right now, what level do we think we're on? We think we're on a higher level. So standardized testing has to come to make sure that that's where we are. Why do we need standardized testing? Standardized testing is to help us to understand what level we're on and to understand if we're even able to go to the next level. Hmm. Let me see. Standardized testing. Okay. So you're telling me that everybody's taking the exact same test I'm taking. Well, why does it feel like I'm alone? You're not alone, okay? You are on your own level. You're in your test version. There could be people sitting on right and left of you in a standardized test, but guess what? It all looks like you got the same test booklet, but guess what? Each test booklet has its own version. So what you're going through is unique for what level you're on or unique for what grade you're in. So standardized testing doesn't come to pass or fail you. It doesn't do that. It does not do that. It comes and it brings a level of where they think that you should be. Okay. And if you're not there, it just gives you something to work on. So when you take te standardized testing, they say there's no pass or fail, but for your level, you should score this, but you scored here. So that means you may have to take that section again. And like I said, each section, different time frames, different things going on, but when you take that section again, you have to take it until you pass it. And so it's the same thing in life. What we're going through right now, this test that we're going through, if we didn't pass it the last time, we got to take it again. But don't get it twisted. This isn't to discourage you. It's not to beat you down. It's not to say that you're not worthy. What it is doing is to make sure that you know what level you're on, where you are in your walk, where you are in your faith. Okay. So testing is not bad. Let's look at Job. Job was tested. 
He, oh, his, his standardized testing was something special. We may not be able to go through that same exact version that Job went through, but while he was going through it, the people that were closest to him, okay, his wife, his own wife came to him and said, why don't you just curse God and die? Hmm. Curse God and die. I'm sure people around you are telling you right now, why don't you just stop? Just give up. Just what? What is wrong with you? Why you keep doing the same thing over and over? Why you keep going through that? Why do you keep taking that? Why do you keep? Let me tell you something. There are going to be some Job wives in your life, but you have to stay focused. You have to stay focused. And when you're looking down that answer sheet and you're seeing all these different things, the answer is always going to be C when you're in doubt. That means you choose God. And that's exactly what I need you to do. Choose Christ on this day. I need you to choose him because when you choose Christ, you're choosing the right answer every time. Because when we lean not to our own understanding, we'll be okay. So Job, one of the best things Job said was, when he had tried me, I shall come out as pure gold. You come out as gold. So in this season of your life, in this test taking, in this version that you're in right now, wherever you see yourself right now, don't worry about it because this section is soon to be over. And when this section is all said and done and you get to go to the next section or flip the page, you're going to be okay because this was all just a test. And when in doubt, we always choose C. Okay, we're going to choose Christ. We're not going to lean to our own understanding. We're not going to allow anybody else to tell us what part of uh, or what test we should be in or what version we should be in, because this is coming for us to know where we are, for us to assess what we need to do to get better. So in this season of your life, while you're being tested, don't worry about how long it's taken, because each section has its own amount of time. It's all time differently. Last time it didn't take as long. This time it's taking longer. Don't worry about it because in this phase of your life, you are going to be able to pass the test because you are going to choose C every single time. So let's just pray on tonight and let's close this thing out and just know that when you're in doubt, when you're in your test taking season, as we all are right now, remember when in doubt, always choose C. Lean not to your own understanding, but trust in the Lord. Most gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you tonight. We thank you, O Heavenly Father, because you are awesome and mighty. And Lord, on tonight, as we are in our season of testing, O Father, we just ask that you touch, O God, as never before. We ask, O God, that you anoint our minds, O Father, anoint our very spirits, O God, that we'll be able to hear you in the midst of taking this test. Oh, God, for this test, oh, Heavenly Father, is not to pass or fail. It's not to shame us. It's not to scare us. It's not to have us to be in fear. Oh, God. Oh, God, those are tactics of the enemy. But, Lord, this test has come that we shall see what level that we're on, oh, God. Assess it, oh, God, and be able to go higher and deeper in you because we choose see. We choose you to go deeper and further. So, Lord, on tonight, all those that are listening, Father, Lord, I just ask that you touch every situation, oh God. You know what it is, oh God. Rather it's sickness, oh God. Rather it's disease. Rather it's family members, oh Father. Jobs, oh Father. Homes. Lord, whatever the issue is on tonight, oh God. Whatever the test is, Father. Oh God, touch, oh Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, bring clarity where clarity is needed, oh God. Help us to pass this section of the test, oh God, that we might not have to take it again. But Lord, we thank you, oh God, because we know that in this season, we shall come out as pure gold. We thank you and we love you. And we pray these things in your precious son, Jesus name. Amen. Good night, everybody.